One of the most common questions I get uh, from students on online courses, especially new students, is how to submit a, an assignment on Blackboard. And so what I'd like to do today is go through that process on how to submit uh, anything on a link in Blackboard that is an assignment or a project. So I'm going to use this example here in my genetics class. I'm going to go over here to course modules and I'm going to navigate to an assignment. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go look at unit one and I know that there's a project due in, a, in a unit one and it's coming up. So here's my project assignment. You can see my unit one project and I have a discussion on here. But I'm concerned about the project first here. I need to turn this in. I have in the uh, description area what I need to do for this project. This happens to be a project that requires a report. And so I'm going to do this project probably by uh, creating a Word document that I type in my answers, my report, and then I'm going to submit that to this link. So let's imagine that I have followed the directions here and I have completed this assignment and I've created a Word document with that completed assignment. Well now I need to submit it. I'm going to click on the heading here, Unit 1 Project. Anything that's underlined here should be a link. I'm going to click on it and I will see a due date, the points possible, again the description of the project and then I'm going to go down here to the bottom and scroll down and I have a couple of different places that I can uh, submit this. Now you could te technically submit your entire um, uh, homework as a text here in this box. You can simply write in this and submit it. I do not suggest this. It gets to be very ugly especially when I have to grade a block of text that is not formatted. It is very aggravating to uh, grade such text. So just a, a, a word of advice, don't send me blocks of text. The best option is to go to attach a file. I'm going to browse my computer and I've created a file. And you can see this project one document that I've created. I'm going to open and it's going to attach it. Now if I scroll down some more you can see it has attached it here and I can see the name, I can change the name. Do not worry about uh, uh, do not worry about your name being on the project title or in the project itself because when you submit it, it submits it to me as your paper. So it associates your submission to your name. When I'm done, I have it submit, I have it attached here. That's all I need to do. I just go down here and I submit. If I want to add comments, maybe uh, it's late or you had some trouble or whatever, you can add comments here, but then just simply submit. And you wait for it to load and it will tell you, you'll get something like this with no other further instructions. It does show you uh, the, the uh, instructions here, but you're done. Now you can check to see that you're done by going over to your grades. If you go to grades, look at all these different quizzes, but if I go down, scroll down, I can see unit one project. You see this yellow circle with an exclamation point in it? That tells you that you have submitted it and that it's just waiting for me to grade it that will send me a message that there is something waiting for me to grade. So if you see a yellow circle with an exclamation point in it, that means that you definitely have submitted something and it's just waiting for me to grade it. And that's as easy as it is. It's, it's that easy. And so you should be able to submit any project or assignment now um, like a professional.